Good morning guys. Today I'm gonna to be doing a day in the life video and I'm like gonna try and switch it up. I always do like the same kind of like day in the life videos for you guys. Um, like or like the same footage. I don't know. But anyways, so instead of showing you like what we do as soon as we get up, um, I'm now starting like after breakfast. So right now, so it's like nine in the morning. Um, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to touch on really quick what um, I do as soon as I'm done with breakfast. So a lot of you guys ask what my pumping routine is and I don't know like how to record that for you guys quite yet. Um, or I don't know like how I'm going to record it because I can't like record in my office. So I might just do a sit down video and like tell you guys what my routine is and like insert like little clips here and there of like how I use my pump and this and that. Now that I'm getting a lot more comfortable with pumping since I am exclusively pumping. So just like a little info on that. So right now, like I said, it is just about nine. My first pumping of the day was at like 5.45 this morning. So 5.45 to 6.15 I pumped. And um, this is my first morning pump. I just, I got about six, seven ounces here. And then um, I just got done pumping again from eight to 8.30 and I got four ounces from that. Okay, so baby boy just woke up and he has not wanted his morning feed yet. So I have those four ounces waiting for him in his bottle for when he wakes up um, so that he's got fresh pumped milk for that. And then what I will usually do with this, so I pump the most in the morning and then as the day goes on, I pump less and less and less. So usually, like I said, six, seven ounces in the morning and then my um, second pump, four ounces, pretty good. Like the 11 o'clock noon pumping is anywhere between three and four ounces usually. And then every two, three hours after that, it's about, it's consistently like two to three ounces. When I'm having a bad day, it's like barely two. When I'm having a better day, it could be upwards to like 2.75 ounces for my afternoon and evening pumps. So um, knowing that my evening pump, my last pump of the day is usually my worst of the day, I will save about two ounces of this so that he has a full like four ounce feeding ready to go for his last feeding of the night. And then I will put the rest of this into a freezer bag so that um, I can build up my freezer stash a little bit and have enough bags on hand so that when he goes, you know, back to um, grandpa or daycare, he is good to go. Okay, I'm sorry for the really bright morning sun, but while I am putting this, into a bag. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about, um, a little bit how I um, stored up my freezer stash for his first day away from me. So um, what I did is I had to take away, so this is what I would do. I, I would take these morning pumps where I always pump way more than um, he needs and I would just slowly start packaging them up. Now, um, in order to make this happen, I had to supplement um, one feeding a day with um, formula, so that would be at night. So if he woke up in the middle of the night, if he did, he would have to have a bottle of formula um, just so that I was able to, like I said, um, store enough in the freezer for his first day away from me. And then after his first day away from me, it got a lot easier to um, continue to provide milk for him just because I would get three or four bags, you know, at work while I was pumping at work. I would get three or four feedings for him each day, um, right around four to five ounces each between all of my pumpings. And um, then I would have enough milk for the next day and the next day. So he really hasn't needed to have any formula this week at all unless he um, wakes up in the middle of the night, then I might need to supplement with like two ounces of formula. So he really isn't getting that much formula, like I said, just at night. As you guys saw in my thumbnail, I was able to save up two days worth total of um, breast milk for his days away from me, which has worked out really nicely because he did use all of those bags and I've just been trying to keep up with it while I've been um, pumping at work. So, all right, so when I put these in the freezer, I will just put the date and how many ounces, and then I will just freeze them flat. I know I've showed you guys that in my other videos. 
Now when I freeze them, um, I just have this like holiday Ziploc container and I freeze them flat. So these two bags were actually from Friday um, while I was at work. One was 4.75 ounces, one was four ounces, and then I had another four ounce bag, but he needed that feeding at home last night when we got home. So um, there's only two bags from yesterday. And then I will just lay this in here. Oops. I usually try to like rotate them, so like, because the ends always get a little bit more full. So just so that they lay nice and flat, I'll like rotate them. And then I just stick this in the freezer and we're good to go. Okay, so that is how I built up a realistic stash. Me as a mama who's been struggling with my milk supply, that's how I built up enough for him to at least have breast milk all day during the day while he's away from me. Um, if any of you other mamas are struggling with your milk supply out there, I feel you, it's really hard. I feel like I'm doing a really good job though with providing him with mostly breast milk. And again, he really only has that one formula bottle at night. Kai is trying on her Easter dress that grandma got her. If you guys have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, again, this is just how I built up a realistic stash for me. I see all these other videos on YouTube where like these mamas have oversupply and it's just like bags and bags of freezer stash milk and I wish I could get there. So. This is a more realistic video. This is a more realistic version of those videos showing you how I built up just enough to get him through the first day or two um, away from me. So I hope that was helpful for you guys, but all right, into the rest of our day. <laughs> that's that's a, an interesting outfit that you've got on there. Um, and scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think you're like missing half of your mouth though. <laughs> are you hilarious? You are so cute. I love you so much. Don't touch, don't touch the camera though. You're the dog, you're the dog ever. I'm a biggest dog ever? Yeah. Wow, I've never gotten that kind of compliment before. I think that was an insult. <laughs> are those eggs so good? I think maybe we should put your dress away though because you're already getting stuff on it. Mom's gonna have to clean that now. Got spicy in it. Yeah, you got spices on it. So why don't you take your dress off? Mom's gotta clean it up for church tomorrow. Yeah, let's church, do that. The church is gonna be super mad. <laughs> I don't think the church will be super mad, but I think grandma might be kind of sad if it has a stain on it already. So tomorrow we are celebrating Easter early with Mike's side of the family because <laughs> If you're really good, maybe the Easter Bunny will bring a baby Minnie Mouse. I'm not sure though, you have to be good. So we are celebrating Easter with Mike's side of the family tomorrow on Palm Sunday because next weekend we will be with my family celebrating um, Easter down in Minneapolis. So grandma bought her a dress for Easter um, but she'll be wearing that for Palm Sunday. So we're gonna have like two Easters but she's already getting it dirty which is super great. So now I'm gonna have to wash that. Also, notice my, does anybody else have a stair pile? This is my stair pile of like things that need to go upstairs from the week. Can you say good morning? Say good morning, everybody. Can you say good morning? I eat my hand. I'm finally ready for my morning, Baba. You're a cute boy, look at that widow's peak that he's got. You got a mad hairline, pal. You're so handsome. You got your daddy's chin, mm-hmm. You're so cute. Should we have a morning baba? <gasps> yeah, that sounds good. Hi. <laughs> Sweetest boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you happy? You got full belly? Yeah, I got full belly. He's a ticklish boy too. Hi. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's getting so big, you guys. Are you a big boy now? Say, Mama, I'm a big boy. Yeah, oh, the love blink. <laughs> You're so sweet. Yeah. Kaya has dressed herself now. 
<laughs> Hi, a big boy. You love your sister? Yeah. Can I make some, some my his, can I make his my sister? He's your brother and you're his sister. I sister? You're the sister, he's the brother. Wow, I can hold him. <laughs> Maybe in a minute. She always wants to hold him. She's obsessed with holding him. No, not to right now. Mommy's yeah, I gotta burp you. Goo. Yeah, just a happy boy. Just a happy boy. He's stinky? Yeah. What's he stink like? Oh, he's smelling milk. He smells like milk? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> he smells like grandpa's house? Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You two are so cute. You mom all my babies? What? You're my baby. Am I your baby? Yes, and you're my baby and you're my baby. Yeah. Both my babies. Uh, I'm not baby. I it's the baby cry, it's a grandma. Um I just got done pumping and um I just put it directly into a bottle for him three ounces this session, so I've actually been doing pretty good today. So I did like, what was my last session? Like three and a half, almost four ounces, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and he just woke up. <laughs> He's eating his hand. He's been like all about eating his hand lately. You're so cute. I know I'm always sitting in this spot when I talk to you guys. I like him trying to record some different stuff. But like I'm such a routine person. Comment down below if you're a routine person as well because I just, this is where I pump. I keep my pump stuff right here at the dining room table. I have my MacBook here. So while I'm pumping, I can get some work done. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> you stick your tongue out at me. Yeah, lovely. Hi, hello. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till you start laughing. So anyways, um, yeah, so then I can just like get stuff on my MacBook while I'm pumping. Yeah, and then uh, all of Kaya's like toys are always in the living room. She can just play with them. I can watch her. He's usually hanging out in his little newborn lounger and I can watch him from here. Everything is just like all, I can see everything from this spot. So I'm always sitting at this spot. He is gonna be hungry very shortly here since he just woke up from his nap, which was like a very good nap. It's like two o'clock. So that was like a good three, four hour nap, I would say. Oh. I love you. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have a baba. Yeah, we're gonna have a baba. And then I'm gonna clean. Yeah, does that sound like a plan? Okay, so while I'm cleaning the table off from lunch, um, I just wanted to like address a couple questions um, that I get quite often on my, yes, we're watching The Grinch. <laughs> um, just a couple questions that I get on my Instagram all the time in my DMs. Um, I get a lot of like, breastfeeding support on my DMs, which is amazing. And I have used so many of your guys' tips, which I'm going to share with you um, in just a little bit here as to what I've been experimenting with to try and up my supply, um, just so that maybe I can get a little bit extra for storing. Um, so anyways, a couple questions that I get all the time is A, um, what are like my favorite newborn essentials? And I always have that video linked down below in the description for you guys. Um, but just like to recap like a couple of my favorite things. Um, I would say he loves you. Um, a couple of things that I would like recap and say that are my favorites are definitely the newborn boppy lounger and um, my docketot. And just recently in the last week since he's gotten a little bit bigger, um, one of my favorite things has been the Moses basket, which I'll show you guys here in a sec. Um, because he like fills it out more, but it, that's definitely one of my favorite napping places, always on his back. Um, sometimes he'll snooze off in his newborn boppy lounger and then I will like move him to his docketot or move him to his um, Moses basket and it's always like supervised napping in both of those items um, because I'm always like right here in the same room with him. Um, and then I will, like at nighttime, he obviously sleeps in his bassinet right next to the bed, 
which he is quickly going to outgrow. So I need to find an alternative or move him to his room pretty quick here. And I would say by four months, he'll be um, probably in his own room. So, um, okay, so that is one question that I get a lot. Another question that I get is in regards to breastfeeding and um, pumping and like what my routine is at work and how I do it. Um, so again, like I mentioned earlier, I will be recording like an in-depth video for you guys telling you like what I do for my pumping routine, but just like generally what I do is I have a pump here and I have a pump at work. So that way I don't need to be hauling um, a pump back and forth. And um, I, so the pump that I keep at my office is the pump that I got with Kaya, which is the Medela in style. I do feel like the suction power on the Medela is stronger, but I like my Spectra more. I don't know, maybe I like them equally. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> Some days I like my Spectra more, and then some days I like my Medela in style more just because it's in a bag, but sometimes that hinders me, like, and I don't like that it's in a bag. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I have a pump at home, so when I come home at night, my pump station is always here at my dining room table, and then I'll carry that pump up with me um, and do one more pump session at night before I go to bed, and then once more once I wake up and then just every two, three hours throughout the day, I'm pumping at work with my Medela pump. So that's my pumping routine, general, in general. Again, I will go into depth for you guys and really give you like a really good detailed sit down video, like how much I get per session, showing you guys like what a day's worth looks like for me, etc. cetera. Um, just really quick, I'm gonna bring you guys into the kitchen with me and I'm gonna show you um, just like a couple things that I've been doing. So, um, something with my weight loss that I've been doing, uh, as well as for my, like, breast milk boosting supply. Um, I like to have a protein shake in the morning. Oh, pause that. Um, Riker is crying. Okay, crisis averted. So, um, every morning when I get up, I will pump and then I will get ready really quick and before the kids wake up, I usually actually wake up at like 5, 5.30, pump for a half an hour, get myself ready for a half an hour. Um, so by that time it's like like 6.30ish and then I will make myself a protein shake. I will make us shakes here really quick, okay? I have the protein shake. You want a strawberry shake? She wants a strawberry um, smoothie. So, um, okay, anyway. So in the morning, I've been having Shakeology, which I can get like so much hate in the comments for protein powders. I'm, there's like so many out there, but this is just personally what I've been using lately because a friend of mine gave it to me. Um, she had an unused bag, so I took it off of her hands for her. Um, so I've been using this, like one scoop of this in the morning, which the scoop is really big. And then I've been doing a tablespoon of this Brewer's Yeast Powder, which I will link this down below as well. Oh, pause again. Unhappy baby. Yeah, there you go. Hanging out on your little lounger. Here's a good boy. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Now we're all happy, sad, happy, sad. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's <laughs> I can't decide if it's happy or sad. I sound sad. That's a <laughs> okay, maybe let's put you in your swing. You love your swing. You happier now? You already had five ounces of milk. I don't know if you need any more there, pal. Have your passy. Oh, hold my hand. You are so sweet. Tickle, tickle. Okay, real mom life. Stuffing on Legos as I'm like going through the living room. Baby's crying. <laughs> um, okay, so I've been Experimenting with this Brewer's Yeast Powder. This came highly recommended. The Amazon reviews, you guys, are incredible. Um, my favorite one was I went from nada to lada. <laughs> so um, I've only been putting one tablespoon in my um, protein shake in the morning. I haven't noticed any bitterness. Um, but I actually read that you're supposed to have about three tablespoons to really see a big difference in your milk supply. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna put three tablespoons. Um, actually, maybe two. I'm not like, I don't wanna like jump all the way up to three right away. But um, I'm gonna try two in here. And then um, I have ground flaxseed, which there's already flaxseed in Shakeology, but um, I just do another tablespoon of ground flaxseed. And there's actually a lot of really good health benefits besides um, lactation um, increasing. 
not the word I'm looking for. Um, and then another supplement that I take is um, the Natural Calm. I will take two teaspoons of this at night. Um, I'll mix it in warm water until it has, like I just followed the instructions. So you mix it in warm water, let it fizz, then stir until dissolved, and then fill with warm or cold water. I love this, like super cold. It's raspberry lemonade flavored. Reminds me of summertime, it's super yummy. So I'll just, um, as soon as it's like dissolved, I'll add some ice to my cup and then just a dash more water and then um, I will drink that up. The last supplement I've been taking is upstairs and I'll go get that um, and record that in my other video. I just started taking that like three nights ago and I take about three pills every night with my prenatal vitamin, so. That is everything that I'm experimenting with right now um, and I'm gathering like detailed information for you guys to let you know if I've seen a difference like with any of those um, products like in my milk supply. So anyway, um, I'm already like three days into this because I got them on Wednesday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yeah, three days into it. And have I noticed like a huge difference? Um, honestly, no, not really yet. Um, maybe like an ounce or two more a day, maybe, because I was only producing like two ounces per pump session and now it's pretty much three, you know, in the afternoons. But anyway, like I said, I'm doing detailed research. I don't wanna like get too into it right now and give you guys too much information at once. Um, I wanna like put it all in one video for you guys, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, this week. I'm excited to see what the results are going to be. Um, but I did also find um, an extra bag of milk in my fridge from um, work on Friday. So I actually have four bags just from two days um, saved up for um, Monday when he goes back to grandpa's because he's been going to grandpa's house for daycare um, until he starts with his actual daycare on the 22nd so um, and then in the fridge right now this is what's left over from my morning pump um, I've got three ounces and I did actually freeze how much did I freeze four ounces of it I put into a bag and then I froze you guys watched me do that this morning so this is like my morning milk mixed with um, some of like my daytime milk I'll usually so what I do to combine my milk um, throughout the day is I will just um, like take my Spectra bottle as soon as I'm done pumping and I will put it in the fridge, let it cool all the way and then once it is at um, fridge temperature, then I pour it into the same Medela bottle. So, and I just keep that going all day long and then whenever he needs a bottle, I'll pour like four ounces out and there's usually always like an ounce left in that Medela bottle, but I'll pour like four ounces out into a bottle, warm it up into the bottle warmer on the counter, and then give that to him. So that is what my routine is, and those are the questions that I seem to get quite a bit. So um, just kind of wanted to let you guys know like what I've been doing, but again, I'll touch base on that in super great detail in my, um, in my, pumping 101 video and breast milk supply video. So stay tuned for that. Since we're on a roll with the real mom life stuff, let's, yeah, we're gonna go to church tomorrow with grandma and grandpa, yeah. Okay, so while I've been like pumping and cleaning like this area of the house, let me show you guys what my living room ends up looking like every single day. Every day, like, come on. Ah, all right, let's vacuum and clean this stuff up. Come clean with me, <laughs> help me.
it's pretty funny that I cleaned up with your broom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, leave it there and I'll vacuum all that up, okay? Okay, so here's what's sad is I've done that, and now look at all these little handprints all over the couch. Oh my gosh. That's pretty cute though. <laughs> More fingerprints and just stuff everywhere. She squished popcorn into the carpet. <sighs> oh, there's George. And a Kleenex. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is one day. This is just like a day and a half. I don't understand how this happens. Like, how? How does this happen? Well, now that that corner is clean, so, so. this corner is organized. Um, eventually we're gonna be putting in like some cubbies here with like cabinets over them. Mm -hmm. So it'll have like baskets all inside there on this side. And then on this side as well, we need to get rid of these wires. Like we build media centers all the time for customers, but we don't even have one for ourselves. So we're gonna work on that in May. So there will be a media center here, a built-in with cabinet doors here, and then one as well on this side as soon as he's outgrown his swing. So we'll put the swing away, build the other built-in here, all with baskets that will hold the toys and hide them. So toys and like all of their games and stuff because right now all the board games are like up here in this cabinet. Like all the kid games and adult games like the Cards Against Humanity and stuff are all in here. So I would like to move that here. And then um, like I always have like the diaper bags and everything like hanging out here. So I'm thinking that right here where our thermostat is, I would like to put like some kind of like hanging system here. I haven't decided because over in this corner too, we have all of our like brooms and stuff because we have got nowhere to put them, like our broom and our mop and our shower cleaner because there's like no storage for them upstairs or on the main floor. So um, I'm thinking of putting in like a little cabinet here um, with, like some kind of hanging, I don't know. Anyway, so that otherwise, um, I thought about installing some kind of like hanging system here for like the backpacks and the um, like keys, like have like cute like metal industrial baskets with like industrial hooks underneath. But I don't like really wanna like drill into the side of the island, so I just can't decide what the heck to do. But I also have this wall here that I could install some sort of like hanging system, but then I wouldn't want it to like run into like this little cabinet here if we were to build one. So, uh, all the struggles, you guys. Okay, so now all of this. So I, I need to clean this up, put the rest of the Legos away, and then all of this needs to be moved upstairs. And believe it or not, there's more toys upstairs that need to be cleaned up. So, this That's one, too. one little kid is such a tornado. You. You are a tornado. Why do you make all the messes for me? I play my tail, guys. Yeah. <laughs> are you playing right there or are you making messes right there? Yeah, I'm not I'm not just puppy. You love your toys, don't you? Yeah, I'm not just puppy. <laughs> okay. All right, mom's gonna clean this. Ah. right now and I don't know what to do with myself I'm just kind of like what do I do with my hands <sighs> I've like lost all look at that oh my gosh I was sweating so bad I've lost 
all motivation. I'm so tired right now and all I want is a glass of wine. <sighs> Both kids are sleeping, this is like, <laughs> Kaya fought it so hard. I had to like hold her down, we were watching the Grinch. I was like holding her down, she's crying. She didn't fall asleep till like five. But she desperately needed a nap, whether it was like late or not. Both babies sleeping. And he just fell asleep and I need to move him into his basket because I don't like him sleeping on this. But look at him smiling asleep. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna move him to his Moses basket. I'm gonna put a blanket on her. By the way, this outfit was concocted by Kaya. <laughs> okay, so like I was mentioning earlier, this is the Moses basket. This is like just recently like one of my like absolute like necessities. I was saving it for like closer to this summer when um, we go camping and have him like sleep in this in the camper. But um, I like to have him sleep in this during the day now for napping instead of the docketa on like the couch or like the floor by me or whatever I'm doing. Um, just because this fits him a lot better right now. He's like outgrowing the docketa a little bit. But anyways, yes, I absolutely love this thing. I have a bobby pillow in it right now, but that's, it's so cute. I love it. My parents got this for me for a baby shower gift. It's adorable. I'll have it linked down below though because I know that they got it from Amazon. I think I always have it linked in my um, my Amazon storefront, which is also linked down below. But regardless, I'll have the link directly to this in the description so you guys can take a peek at it if you want to. Okay, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I'm trying to be quiet because I want the kids to finish napping so that I can edit this vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this day in the life and impromptu cleaning brought to you by two cups of coffee. I hope that you guys took some tips and tricks from some of the breastfeeding stuff on the like the breast milk supply and like my pumping routine. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Pop a comment down below and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel before you leave. Turn on that bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you guys on Tuesday. The baby's waking up. <laughs>